You are now watching AK Debris on YouTube. I don't want to hear any stupid New Year resolutions. I want to see actions. I'm tired of hearing, this year, I'm going to do this. You didn't do it last year. You didn't do it right now. Let's start here. Again, I'm not academics. I do not cover news. I only cover, my main thing is documentaries, which is coming. By the time you see this, it'll be out. Part two. Um, I only like to do topics that are intellectually stimulating. I'm not the smartest guy, but I'm not dumb. And I can't sit here and talk about Negroes all day. Speaking of Negroes, our culture needs to take a pause. As a black man, especially if you, I don't mean black man, Carlton black man. I'm not talking to you. Keep doing you, brother. Good. Black excellence. I'm talking to you Negroes that are part of this hip-hop, black culture. I mean, it's not black anymore. It's everybody. Please take a moment and realize that you have an influence. Even if you're broke in a hood. Platin. Platin, I'll give you something to plot on. Plot on success, dummy. I understand. I've been saying this for years, but people people are starting to realize it. Black people dictate culture. Like it or not, we dictate culture. I grew up in Arabia, and even in the Arab-speaking world, we dictate culture. I speak about my ancestors a lot, actually. I gotta show this off one sec. Look at this pyramid. Of course, it's not an accurate representation, but I love it. It's a beautiful piece made by the Chinese. Black people, and a lot of you, I love to claim the pyramids, the ancestors. I'm sorry to say not all y'all were that. Those were my ancestors. Sure, we are. Okay, cool. We are not acting like it. If you know anyone who grew up in a third world, second world country, shout out to you guys. Or if you grew up in one like I did. Or even just been on a vacation. You want to go to L.A.? Nah. Go to India. It's cheaper. And it'll open your clogged mind. You realize it's more to life than a Gucci bag. And then Amiri jeans. Idiot. That's the reason I'm humble. Because I grew up there. I didn't... People around here... And I love Canada. It's a lot of good people. But as some people walking around, nose in the air, what did you achieve? Nothing. Hear me out. We dictate culture. And I'm coming to the YSL, but wait. Prime example of that is... You know, now they call it the TikToker language. It's not TikTok language. Two, three years ago, it was black language. I like to mess with white girls. It was a white girl that I was messing with. Maybe she liked the D, but she ain't like what come with the D. How I talk bothered her. Why you talk like that, girl up? I'm 25 years old. I'm older than you. I got more money than you. Your boyfriend's a bum right now. Who grew up? 
It's an accent, baby. I can't help it. I flow. And I love you. I might hit you again, actually. But two years later, every kid, Asian, you got... Man. Black people, we, this, this language we used to speak is now the norm. Kids talking about capping. Goofy eye beat. He left a comment on my beat. Goofy iPhone. Where did that come from, black people? You. I'm not telling you that so you get a big head and go catch the next white man. No. You're not superior than him. If you act like that, no, me and you're not the same. Because your ancestors are in harmony and one with everything. It's called divine oneness. It's not just the state you experience on LSD, dummy. Divine oneness has a power, idiot. When you're one, you want to know something about the pyramid? I'll share this with you guys. I'll give you the, the, the cherry, you go find the cake. The original pyramid of Giza, which is really built by my people, not the modern day Egyptian, I'm sorry. My Nubian black ancestors of Sudan, where the rest of the smaller pyramids exist, by the way. They love to claim our history. The pyramid, guys, do your own research. This is what I believe, but they have this misinformation uh, strike, so I'm still fighting copyright strike, but I, I'll talk later about it. The Pyramid of Giza, you know what it was there for? It used to be limestone. Forget the limestone, doesn't matter. It used to be beautiful. They took it away. It used to, the tip of the pyramid, which is missing right now, stolen. Used to be gold. Why? Because they love to wear gold? No, dummy. You can't wait to justify stupidity, huh? Because gold is a conductor. Nikola Tesla's uh, discovery, which they almost... No, actually, they did hide him and crap. Kind of like they did with my music career. And they tried to do it with YouTube. That'd be down. Let me show you some. I'm not diving into the science of it. You can do your own research. This is a Tesla coil. Nikola Tesla had discovered wireless electricity. Thomas Edison did not discover the light bulb, by the way. Sorry to break it to you. F what they taught you in school. Thomas Edison was the businessman. He was the Elon Musk. Elon Musk did not create supercars, uh, uh, electric. He stole the business from two guys. If you really dig deep, but you don't. See this? Tesla had one big beam that beamed up, and he could turn this on wirelessly. No wire. He distributed electricity. During his discovery, you want to guess where Tesla got that discovery from? My ancestors. From here. The reason the gold cap was, was go, uh, the, the tip was gold is because gold is a conductor. Because gold is a conductor. The same way Nikola Tesla had this big, big uh, beam or whatever, he could light up his coils wirelessly. They hated that. <sighs> All right, enough about pyramids. If, um, anybody found it interesting 
I would do. I have to do a separate video on it, cause you know. Or you can do your own research if you want. In the future, I do. Um, cause I have my own theories as well to add on. I'm not just telling you some I watched. I'm from there. Anyway, this is this is a different topic. I got carried away. But I'm glad I did because I wanted to bring your thinking to a higher level. Wireless electricity, Tesla coils. Shout out to Nikola Tesla, the legend. But black man, it is shameful to be associated with you and your culture. And I'm not gonna act high and mighty like a hypocrite. If it wasn't for that culture, I wouldn't be here today. I had a big hand in creating drill. That's a crazy statement to make, aka to Bree. And shout out my boy Kevin. I don't know if he thinks, but I think I had a big hand in creating drill music as we know it. For my own monetary gain, I wasn't even rapping. I was just a kid in Arabia trying to make some pennies. And I made my bands at 14 years old. Because I had to. Got grown men soaking in envy. You got the same 24 hours, Negro. Now, when you're sitting plotting on the next man, or hating on the next man, or just spreading negativity and just being stupid. It's shameful. It's shameful that, and I love rap, but at this current stage, I stopped listening to it. And I hate the culture, the news, everything. I stopped. I don't know if I'm old or what it is, but first of all, How is it our culture is so criminal, bro? And don't get me wrong. I'm not here trying to uh, 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 deride the white man. Because I understand not everything legal doesn't mean good. Slavery was legal. And this criminality uh, mentality comes from slavery where it's like, uh, you know, Reddit criminality, don't snitch. But I got news for you. No matter, I don't like these movies, 12 Years a Slave. History is history, cool. There's no dismissing it, and there's no dismissing people's feelings. Some of those people are alive, and I respect them. But you know one thing? This will link back to Young Thug, watch. Anyone who came from the actual struggle, whether it was slavery, shout out to Dick Gregory, intelligent man. I never got to catch him while he was alive and communicate, but I reached out to his son, and his son and I communicate just on some respect to each other. I don't want nothing from him. Why does the black man expect the handout always? Slavery is done, bro. People, black people buying their own chains. And that's what I fear with reparations. I believe reparations should be handed. But I believe before you get handed, you need to do some type of course. Because you Negroes are stupid. I don't care if they demonetize it. I have to say this. I would never snitch a tail. But I'm coming to it before that. Listen. Again, no snitching. No, I could imaginary, guys. I am not a criminal, nor do I associate with criminals, guys. Okay? During PPP season, 
I watched a lot of you dummies run it up. Everybody got money. Whether you was doing it, it was being done on you, or you was selling <laughs> exotic packs to the guys that were doing it. It was money flowing. I never touched that money, by the way, just to be clear. But culture, we all know. You ain't stupid. Entertainment. I've been swiping for EDD, the song. These things speak for culture at times, right? So during these times of money, it's very few people that took whatever they saved up, first of all. Or they took that money and did something with it. So a lot of entrepreneurs that was born during that time, investors and whatnot, people who got educated, people who got, um, and I, I don't like that, I don't know, truck driving, but something, some people flipped it. Sadly, most of them did not flip it. Most of them went to the Gucci store. The Louis store. Saks Kiff. That was the other one. Farfetch. Stock X. May they X you at the fu mm, at the fudge, K guys, fudge. YouTube. Reparations should not be handed to dumb Negroes like this. Because you guys are crying about the white man having all the money and advantage. If the white man gave you 100000 it's going to go right back to the white man. And then you're going to sit back and be sour. And now, you're, yes, yeah, sure, you, you, you're still mad at the white man. So it ain't fixed. Except, shout out to the, the white man. Not saying he should. But he's not the one that's going to suffer that anger. Who's going to suffer it? The one like me that's next to you who's busting his sweat. I never took welfare a dollar in my effing life. Not a penny. Because I was never a citizen. It was times I was in limbo. I wasn't allowed to legally work. I had a job. Yes, get a job, dude. I had an effing job, and I work harder than everybody. I got laid off like a condom. Because of some papers. But I wasn't a citizen. I couldn't even. Well, I'm from if you broke, you broke. There's no welfare. You see the mentality, son? You sitting around waiting for a handout? I'll put, I'll get, I'll put my two in your hands. Keep them warm for me. These mentalities got to change immediately. I'm not waiting for New Year or waiting on you to wait. I command you as your father, big brother, little brother. No, I'm not little brother. I got more money than you. I'm commanding you as a fellow human being. It's over. Now... <sighs> I don't blame kids for being like, Connor snitched, how could he? 6 9 snitched, how could he? Huh? Everybody snitches. You know what's the solution to not be snitched on? Don't do crime, dummy. I'm mad at Gunna. The biggest snitch in this day and, er, day and age is you, self snitching. I can name examples, but then they call me the snitch. Listen here. This persona of gangster rapper or gangster, whatever. Not to be a hypocrite because I embody it. But I'm going to tell you something. When I left Arabia, it was an active war. A mosque in my neighborhood got plow. You're going to see the documentary, which I'm fighting the case over illegally. That's later. 
But when, when it comes out, you will see how I grew up. That was just the base. On top of that, I didn't cover the war. So that was a whole layer of, 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 of stress. And, but plus the streets. I was street. Because Negroes are Negroes worldwide, guys. In the UK. <laughs> and on it. There's hoods everywhere. One thing about it, I never relate to bums. And I say that unapologetically, you bum. I hate bums. They took my brother's life. I hate y'all. And I'm going to flex on y'all to my last breath. Even if one of them take my life, as he's putting the last bullet, I'm going to be like, you a mother effing bum. It's not about money. It's about mentality, son. Again, when you come from the life I lived, really, really for real, not a persona for Instagram, not a persona so you can get females, where you act like you're tough and you don't smile. I'm a tough guy. This is, this is how a lot of people. I'm tough. I don't smile. Hmm? I smile so much, right? I smell so much that you might forget that I grew up in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Me and Osama Bin Laden grew up in the same city. We probably went to the same grocery stores. Osama was scum. And I have different thoughts for a different video, but as horrific of a man he is, day to day, he wasn't like y'all. I knew some killers who didn't speak English with, with the bodies to show for it. Not killer, stepper. The only thing you step on is some Jordans. I step on you. I step on you like Mario on the ant. <sighs> stepper, killer, shooter. Uh, go shoot somewhere else. As soon as you see a guy like that, extra tough, extra, stay away from him. If he calls, uh, uh, shout out to my gay people, much love. You know I'm good in the hood, right? If he calls that Rainbow Coalition guy or whatever, girl, he, she, they. If he calls them the F word, which I don't think should be cool, crazy. But if he frequently says, hey, yo, like he frequently attacks <laughs> Rainbow Coalition, he's gay. I promise you. And if he's tough all the time, he's a B. He's a P-U-S-S-Y. I promise you. And in the battlefield, I make him piss his pants. I laugh all the time because it was times... I couldn't. In my city, Chop Chop Square is a real thing. It's not a name I made up to be funny. It's Chop Chop Square on Google Maps. When you look up Chop Chop Square, just like you look up Roof Chris or McDonald's. Oh, God, guys, we can't go here. It's too busy on Fridays. Look up Chop Chop Square. Busy every Friday. It's not a restaurant, though. They chopping heads every Friday. Last Friday, next Friday. Not in public anymore, but that's when I grew up. I want to laugh. I want to live good. I'm tired. Stay away from these guys that got to prove a point. They live in fairyland. Every real street and that you know, look at them, the real ones. They're always trying to hustle and get out and disassociate. Jay-Z was a real one, but now you, you, you forgot that. Me too. Some people thought I'm white because I talk like that. I'm not white. 
Hey, yo, man, you you just a white boy, man. Shit. I'm, I'm more hood than you. I did more dirt in the street than you. And I don't fear you or any internet goon. The fact that you... You have no money, no achievements, not even the, the, the passion or the mentality to want to wanna be around smart people to maybe gain an idea to get better. All you have is I'm tough. Be so tough and come up to me. Chuck, come and kill me. Oh, yeah, internet goons, come kill me. I'll put you in the dirt in self-defense. These guys, if you know someone like that, extra tough, he is more dangerous than an actual because he's trying to prove a point. Like 6 9 6 9 was rainbow all over the place. He was trying to convince you he's a goon. That's why, that's why he went extra. The real pa 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 behind him. You didn't know what they did to the to the to the case came. Now, Now don't go sharing my message trying to sound like me and copy me. First of all, you don't live by it. I've seen that happen. People try to sound smart saying what I'm saying. Not giving me credit. I am not some leader or teacher. I just I just share my stream of consciousness and Taking it and yapping it over when you don't live it. You spread it, but you're not living by it. And don't expect change from anybody. I mean, yes, do, but yourself first. Don't go sharing my video trying to look smart. You're an idiot. Because in one, one, they share my stuff in a story. Much love. The first story is me spreading positive message. The next story is a pistol and a perk. What did we do here? Change starts with you. Everybody, we're all responsible. Me included. And... If you're in the streets, realize everybody's going to tell if it comes to it. If people don't tell on you, you're probably going to end up snaking them one day. It's the street life. You don't see me hanging with street people, do you? I've been snaked so much. I'm tired. I don't care about nobody but my family. My immediate and YouTube and family and so does everyone. Because when young thug or you are living a life for Instagram, the comments and likes blind you and your ego make you think you're better than people you're not. When people are stuck in a box with no phone, no Instagram, you got to face reality then. And then the, 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 the bad bees you were trying to impress, they're not there for you. The real Negroes, real N, they're not there for you. In fact, they're snitching on you or you're snitching on them because then you realize that's the only time you hear people say, I have a daughter. I have a mother. Hmm? Ale. <sighs> Stop living for Instagram. Be human. You're not Iron Man. Super tough guy.
You're not bulletproof. I don't own any firearms, guys. I'm just saying. Lie to the whole world. Don't lie to yourself. Those of us who really went through the what you pretend to do, you don't go around trying to convince people. You don't care to. In fact, we try to. <laughs> How you become a millionaire? Listen, I love Doug. An influence as a musician, as an artist. All the crimes aside, eh, I don't care. But if you really go send someone to pa 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 at Lucy's mama, then you deserve what's coming to you. I'm not a gangster. I don't even I don't I don't support crime anyway. I don't care. I'm not a gangster. I don't live by these codes. I live by one code. Last thing. Just because I'm not a criminal, I'm a civilian, doesn't mean I'm a meow. I'm a man at the end of the day. These terms you guys made up, keep keep classifying yourself like animals. Alpha, beta, sigma. I put a... Let me chill out. I don't care. This is not fraternity houses. All I know is beta, sigma, whatever. What am I, a software? Patch 2.3 up, update? All I know is I'm nice and sweet. I'm humble. So nice and sweet, you forget I'm, I'm rich. I got billionaire friends. I forget they're billionaires. That's the type of people I'm around. Not the streets. You get rich and go back to the streets. You go pop up at his mama. I'm a man. You play with my mama, I'll put you in the dirt. I don't care if I get the chair for it. If you're a real man, thug, and I hope I'm wrong, because I like the music, I respect the art. But if that's true, if I got a problem with person, I fight person. Whatever me and person do, morality aside, me and person. If you brought mama in there, that's all I'm saying. Stop living for the ground before you start living in a box. Oh, yeah. Don't share my message if you're not going to live by it. You're stupid. You, you might look cool and smart, but I'm telling you how I live. So I have nothing to gain. Documentaries out. Go support me, man. I'm tired. So, yeah. I'm fighting a case over. Give him his name. Too tired to speak. I'll be it. Subscribe. Make sure to click the like button, smash the subscribe button, and leave a comment for the algorithm.